Hey y'all, I'm recording on my computer and it's so funny because <laughs> because I like I turned on the camera and I instantly was just like like I just made this face. Anyway, my phone is charging over yonder, so I'm recording on my camera. It's Tuesday, it's 202, 1404 on January 4th. Um, I'm eating some soup. Look at my bowl, isn't it so beautiful? So aesthetic. Lee pleasing. I'm waiting for my girlfriend to hop onto Zoom. We're gonna do some work. I have like six bios to write, y'all. I'm gonna try to do three. I'm gonna try to do three. I'll feel good about three. Um, then I have a phone call, then I can actually do some more work and then um, have some laser hair removal and then some reading and some other stuff that I actually scheduled. So, hope that you have a are having a lovely day. Um, also, I'm going to be teaching Pilates again if you're interested. I'll put, if I remember, I'll put something in here about Pilates. Um, so yeah, but I'm teaching online. So you can come. You don't have to have a vagina. You don't have to have a mat. You don't have to have sneakers, uh, socks, nothing. Just you listening to me. All right. Bye. <laughs>
And so it's like, it has like 13,000 views. And child, honey, let me tell you, there are some grandpapas in my comments like call me call me call me and they're like oh we saw you get excited whatever so i'm glad that my shit is popping off again honey so that's great um <laughs> i just i can't tell you like i think i think new it was new year's january like 2020 right before all this shit happened i was like i really want to do like one funny thing a month you know and the fact that i can wake up and find something to make a video of and just fucking make it and not worry about the production value. I do want to do that, um, the uh, the Michael Jackson one and make that a thing. Um, like, it's so fulfilling. I looked at my statistics, my analytics online, um, on the computer instead of my phone, and I have done 22 videos in seven days. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, that's amazing. I did, um, including my drafts, okay, excluding my drafts, videos I posted last year, was like 278 and then with my drafts I think it's like 318 like I nearly have a video for every day last year and I wasn't even making videos back then the way that I am now um so yeah I'm really like proud of that and I'm really I'm really proud of myself too for you know like yeah like I will look and be like oh, these views are low whatever but just keeping it up there and just being like I fucking think this is funny Ooh, maybe I'll do a um mispronouncing things because I think it's funny in Whole Foods today yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, but I'm just, I'm just grateful that I get to just create content right from my phone. People enjoy it because honestly, like I look at these kids on TikTok or whatever and the transitions and the dances and I'm just like, yeah, like this is like, this is what the internet is for to just spread this love and this joy and this fun, this fun, like why not? So I'm all about it. Really great. I'm, I am really grateful though that my video is um, doing well. So all right, let me head into Whole Foods, and I know you can see my hair a little better. Um, I really like this hairstyle. I think it's cute. I think I'm going to, um, when I get my new headshots, um, I think I'm going to do a style like this, because it's very, um, there's something about, oh, I only have one water, water bottle. That's okay. There's something about it that's very, like, <laughs> like, bimbo but like cute and sexy and like cheerleader. Oh fuck, I don't think I have a lid for this. No. Uh oh, I can't get water if I have no lid. That's okay, I'll go into Whole Foods anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, so um, let me see if I have any water bottles on the side. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna use this hair stuff for one of my new headshots. Um, so yeah, I also talked to the woman from BW. While I didn't actually get like an apology, I did get like, you know, like we know how to do better and blah, 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 whatever. But I think I do, I think I am gonna bring my car back in because I'm like, the brakes still don't feel as like sharp as I want them to. And he, she's like, did you get a chance to drive with the foreman? And I was like, no, um, like I didn't know that that was an option. So she wants me to come in, take it back in drive with the foreman, get a loaner, and do the whole thing again. And hopefully I don't have to pay more because I'm like, this is the shit that I came in about, you know? And and what I, what I could have done, which I'm glad that she asked, was just be like, hey, I came in for this thing and it's still not fixed, what's up? But we're good, so, okay. I'm gonna go do a little shopping. I don't even know what I need, but I'm just gonna let my gut lead me. Trust my gut, all right. Say, ladies or anybody who feels vulnerable if you are shopping in a grocery store or wherever and you don't feel safe walking to your car ask the security guard to walk you to your car this is the second night in a row that I've done that last night was
Um, hey, do you mind paying for my oh. food? It's five bucks. Oh, yeah. It's it's only five bucks? Oh. Yeah, it's five bucks. Oh, okay, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Oh, uh-huh. thank you so much. And, I appreciate and this it. Too, please. Thanks. Here you go. <laughs> thank you. You're so sweet and kind. <clears throat> Thanks again. Oh, you're you're welcome. Bye. Fourth time this week. Hey y'all, pimple. Um, so it's like three in the morning on Wednesday. Okay, for me, unless I go to sleep, it's still the same day. So it's still fucking Tuesday. Um, I don't have enough content to post this uh, today, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. But I'm up looking at a strategic planner. And I think I found one that's really great. And it even does the the format, the output, which is great. So I'm really excited about that. And I also worked on two bios. There were two others that I was working on, but they, I was like, they were getting too difficult. And I was like, I'm going to do them tomorrow. So if it's three o'clock now, I need to floss. I need to brush my teeth. I need to make my bed and then go to sleep. So I want to, I want to be in the bed by 3.30 and then... I'm probably going to wake up at like 10 and maybe start to work by like 1030. Um, See if my girl wants to do some Pomodoros. Get those two, get those two uh, bios done. And then I think I have, let me see. Also, by the way, I'm, I'm planning on training somebody to do these bios so maybe you won't ever hear about these from me again no, i'm just kidding you probably will um but i also did fill in some of of like the some of like the line items that i have to work on so i feel really good about that yeah but i'm like excited to get this shit going and get it all out um i have so after i do the two then i have three more so i have i have five Um, but there are two that I want to do for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, so I'll post this blog tomorrow. So I'm going to watch, oh no, I need to floss. Yeah, I need to sit and floss. Oh, I, um, I put my books away. They look crazy right now, but I put my books away and like I organize like all these papers and shit and everything's all organized. So I'm really proud of that. I'll show you. Hold on. So these are writing books. These are business books. These are money books. These are acting books. This is, uh, this is a one my one directing book. This is fiction, 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 fi- uh, fiction, and then plays, um, poetry, and then like self help. Yeah, like self-help, law of attraction, healing, um, like goal setting type stuff is here. Uh, Mindset stuff, mindset. Yeah, and then uh, food related books and then like lifestyle. And then these two are kind of on the end. Um, This is a, these are two autobiographies. These are books that are my dad's. (laughs) Um, So I just have those there. And then these are... Um, nonfiction, kind of uncategorized, I guess. These are essays, um, astrology book, and then these are love relationship related books. This is all my Pilates stuff. Um, this is my, one of my acting class things. This is for my money stuff. And then these are things that I want to kind of like look at now. This is, I guess this is another money thing that I can put over here. Um, this is my writing. And then there's, these are scenes and stuff from plays. And then this is a random, I guess this can go in the food one. This is like a meal recipe recording thing. Um, yeah, that'll go there. So yeah, I got that organized, which was nice. I really just turned off the camera when I was talking. Um, I did that during my five minute breaks when I was doing my Pomodoros tonight. So that was good. Um, and what else? Um, Yeah, I still need to put these clothes away. So what happens is I'll get like frustrated that these clothes are out here and then I'll just throw them back 
in the spare bedroom and then I and then the cycle starts over but I just hung up a bunch of stuff so I'm just gonna put those away right now and I did some laundry what I like to do at least even if things aren't um even if things aren't like folded like I do like to put all my clothes kind of in one place because I because <laughs> I have like I have okay so I have laundry I have clothes that I like wear in the house, but don't wear to bed. And then I have clothes that I wear out, right? So I at least want to put everything like <laughs> in one place. I have, I actually realized like I did this when I was younger too, but like when I was younger, when I was like living like at home with my parents, I had like a clothes chair and I did that in college as well. And I have a chair in my bedroom and I'm like, this is not going to turn into a clothes chair. It's like once you put things where they, like once you give things a place, it's so much easier to keep stuff clean. It's just so much easier. And that sounds so simple, but it's true. It's true. Um, it's like, this is where this goes. This is where you will find it for next time. And that's all there is to it. Let me see if these clothes are actually dry. Yeah, they're dry. Um, so yeah, so let me make up my bed. And I, I never used to be like a make up my bed person, but it is really nice. It is really nice getting into a bed that's just nice and made up and, you know, all together. Um, yeah, I don't really, did I take a nap today? Yeah, or was that yesterday? Was that yesterday as in Monday? Not Tuesday, today is still Tuesday. Um, I think, gosh, what have I done today? Oh, I woke up. Oh, I had a, I had a call. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did take a nap. That's right, I did take a nap. Um, yeah, I did, took a nap before my laser hair removal. I think maybe I, yeah, I think maybe I talked to you guys when I, after I did my laser. Um, so yeah, okay, bed is made up. And what I do is I spray a little bit of, um, Florida water just over my sheets over my blankets and stuff. I just like let that settle. It's really nice to go into. Put my eye mask out that I was crying into earlier. <laughs> no, I was doing this meditation on like meeting your higher self and I was actually really like, like my heart chakra was very, there was just like a lot going on so I couldn't really like sink into the meditation the way I wanted it to, but it was helpful nonetheless. Um, Okay, I'm gonna turn off this heat because it's stuffier than a mug. Um, more clothing. Okay, so clothing is less now. <laughs> and at least, at the very least, I can categorize things like put these two pairs of jean shorts together. Put this um, heat tech together. Put the socks together. Um, how long do you keep socks? How long do you keep like single socks before you get rid of them? Because I know you're not out here wearing mismatched socks, right? Um, right? No, I, I trust that the laundry will return the other foot of socks to me at some point, so. I keep them. Um, this needs to be folded. Probably need to throw it away, actually. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm just organizing everything so it looks less crazy. Actually, some of these things I might be able to put, is this heat tech? No, it's not. Um, this is a regular shirt here and here. Um, and here, I guess. Yeah, actually, I think I only have one drawer in my, I think I only have one drawer where the clothes are actually folded, the rest are like thrown in. And it's so funny because that's, it's kind of like my, like the difference that I think of between like a Leo and a Virgo, right? Um, because Virgo comes after Leo. So Leo is like, everything is in the drawer that's clean enough, right? But Virgo is like, no, everything in the drawer needs to be like folded up. Um, so I think that's hilarious. All right, these are like house clothes. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this. That's for the house, I guess. Okay. 
All right, um, well, why am I gonna sit on the couch, Ash? Okay, all right, I'm done with that. I'm gonna put a couple of these things away because I can. And yeah, great. Um, then I'm gonna sit, watch my show. It's my, it's my excuse, really. It's my excuse to sit and watch a half an hour of TV. I'm like, oh, I have to floss. <sighs> it's just so good. I really love binging shows, especially shows that have a lot of seasons because it's like, well, great. You can just sit here and the next one will play and the next one will play and I'll never run out of episodes. There are nine seasons of How I Met Your Mother. I'm on season four. I'm actually on episode 11. I kind of got through it pretty quickly. But yeah, I'm just like loving it. I would love to be on an ensemble comedy show like that. I think it would just be so fun. And a cool thing about these is that they take, you know, they take aspects of your real life and put it into the show. So, um, you know, Robin is actually Canadian and I'm sure that she is actually a gun enthusiast or whatever, because they keep, they keep talking about it. So when you audition for these series regulars, they want to know about your life so that they can incorporate that stuff into the show because these writers are going to be writing for you, hopefully for years and they need, they need freaking material. So like one good example is, um, I think his name is Cameron Mitchell. He was on a uh, modern family and there was an episode where he was like a birthday clown. Oh shit. My hand was on the speaker the whole time. I hope you could hear everything I've been saying. But I guess I think he was like a birthday clown and they had him be like a birthday clown on the show. You know, they just take aspects from your real life and um, put it in the show, which I think is really dope. So, you know, maybe this vlogging will be in the show. Oh, that's a fun exercise. Like what aspects of my life are they going to use when I'm a series regular on a show? So they'll probably use, oh, like also like Susan Kalechi Watson on... This is us, like she is actually Jamaican. And so they talk about, like I think her father on the show was Jamaican. So stuff like that, they really use those details. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so using that detail, maybe using that I lived in London. <sighs> I miss London, but I'm applying for my visa this year. It's on my list. Um, Um, yeah, so shorts. These shorts can go into the cabinet one. Um, oh, I made, so I took those king oyster mushrooms and I shredded them and I added some jerk sauce and like that was all I cooked it in and it is so good. And I'm like, I wish I had like some soft pillowy like Hawaiian buns or something to like put put it in and make like a like a fake jerk chicken pulled like pulled jerk chicken sandwich so yummy oh my gosh it was so good i did um i did have some cabbage and i did do it as a cabbage wrap and that was good too but i was like i want that wheat man i want that gluten all right, um, now that I've been vlogging for 10 minutes, I may actually just upload this now. So yeah, you'll either see this Wednesday morning and you'll see it Thursday morning. Oh gosh, tomorrow's Wednesday already. <sighs> These weeks be going by. Oh, I did do a little bit earlier. Okay, all right, bye.